let us now look at this intercept form of a plane so intercept form of a plane looks something like this in its cartesian form so we are talking about the cartesian form only here now if you remember something like intercept form of a straight line so you know you had this straight line which pass through something like a comma 0 and 0 comma b you used to write x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 that was your intercept form of a line similarly here you have intercept form of a plane here this plane intersects x axis y axis z axis in three points so this is your first point where it a 0 0 second point uh, is your 0 b 0 and third point is your 0 0 c so if you know these three points you can obviously write the equation of the plane which passes through these three points directly in this form because if you put y is equal to z equal to 0 in this you'll get x equal to a just check it yourself that means a 0 0 will be a point on this plane similarly if you put x is equals to z equal to 0 you'll get y is equal to b that means 0 b 0 is a point on this plane likewise you can check the check the third point also so this is what you mean by the intercept form of a plane whenever you look at something like this you should know if you have a one here and if you have an x by a plus y by b plus z by c form what does this a b c mean a means the distance of the point where your plane strikes the x axis from the origin b means the distance of the point where your uh, where your plane strikes the y axis from the origin and c means the distance of the point where your uh, plane strikes the z axis from the origin right this is your c this is your a and this is your b if you have plane the equation of the plane in this form ax plus by plus cz is equal to d if you have it in your original form if you have it in this form what do you do you bring this d this side x by d by a plus y by d by b plus z by d by c is equal to 1 now once again you have converted into this intercept form but now the thing is your plane will strike these three it will strike the x axis at d by a comma 0 comma 0 right it will strike the y axis at 0 comma d by b comma 0 and it will strike the z axis at 0 comma 0 comma d by c so you can always convert it into the intercept form this is all about the intercept form of a plane let's move on to equation of a plane passing through two parallel lines